This is the continuation of the tutorial about how to apply materials to objects and the basics about materials. The first part of this tutorial is in www.macrotutorials.com. Well, let's create another material. Press N on the keyboard. We can create from another material, copying it. Just click and hold down. Move it over the sample slot and release the mouse button. And we can modify this to create our new material. Or we can start our material from a fresh slot. So we're going to delete this material, as simple. First, select the material. And click on this button that looks like an X. This restores the default values for the sample slot. But remember change the name. And here, as always, click on diffuse and select a color. And click OK. And if you want adjust the specular levels. And, if you increase the self-illumination level, the material going to look as the surface of a light bulb. Now, apply the material to the object. You can select the object and click on the button of assign material to the selection. Now render the scene. Also, you can use textures in your materials. So, select an empty slot and in front of diffuse and specular appears this squares. Click on the square right of diffuse. The material browser appears. Shows as many materials, depending of your installation options. You can see better this materials clicking here. Changing the selections at the left side, you can see different collections of materials. But, to use the texture we should choose Bigmap. This window appears, here we find the location of the texture on the computer, and you can use practically any picture on your computer, 3D Studio Max accepts many picture formats. Once you find your texture, click on Open. And, with a right click you can select Drag Rotate. Now if you click on the sample slot and hold it down you don't copy the material, but rotate the sample. With another right click, you can restore the initial position of the sample, clicking on Reset Rotation. If you click on the button of Sample Type, you can select different figures for the sample slot, like a cylinder, and a cube, or the sphere. Here appears this arrow, this means that we are in a sub-level of a material. If you click the Material Map Navigator, this button, you can see the material tree, to see how it's composed. If you click this arrow, you moves up in the tree. Here you can set some parameters like the opacity, the self-illumination, the specular and others. You can apply the material in the same way you do it before with the other materials. Just drag the material over the object. But remember, that you are using the option of drag rotate. With a right click. And selecting drag copy, you can drag the materials over the objects. Or select the object and click in the button of assigned material. But, in the scene our box doesn't show the material. No problem. You can see the material if you click on the button of show map and viewport, this button here. And now appears the materials with bitmap of textures in the scene. Now the texture looks very pixelated, but if you render the scene. Looks good. If you want to see the textures better in the viewport, you can click on views on the menu bar. Move the mouse over, show materials in viewport as. And, select Hardware Display with Maps. This can take a few seconds to be applied, but the textures looks better. Other way is changing the viewport settings. Just, click on Customize in the menu, and click on Preferences. Select the viewport tab. At the bottom appears the graphics driver that you are using. Click on Configure Driver. The window is different depending on if you are using Direct3D, OpenGL or software. But the thing is change the size texture size for the objects in the viewport. Once you select a bigger size, like this, click OK, and click OK, again. Sometimes you cannot see the result until you restart the program. Other way to load the textures for materials, is using a viewport to browse the files. First select a viewport, and right click on the name. In this list select views, and move the mouse over, extended, and select asset browser. Now, the viewport becomes a file browser. In this browser you select the folder where is located the textures, the picture files. Once you locate the picture files, press M on the keyboard and open the material editor. 
Now, you can drag the pictures clicking on the picture and holding down while you move over an empty slot. And, is ready. The texture is automatically loaded in the diffuse color of the material. And you can apply to the object you want. Even you can drag the texture directly on the object. Well, in next tutorials I'm going to show you more about the materials and how to make it more realistic.